Amanda, and I'm going to show you a light, refreshing watermelon and feta salad. Not only is it fun to make, but it's easy AF. I love this salad so much. My friend Barrett Washburn makes it all the time in the summer. I've made it in many different restaurants in the summertime because when watermelon is ripe, it's the time to do it. And this will add to your repertoire of salads. Think of tomato and mozzarella on a, a twist, right? Watermelon and feta. Watermelon's sweet and juicy, and the feta is creamy and salty. This is what I wanna teach you, how to think about new dishes, how to get inspired just by thinking about flavors, okay? Of course, you can do tomato and feta, which is a classic combination, but try watermelon. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's so simple. One tip that I definitely want to show you, now this is a baby watermelon, but even if you had a big watermelon, watermelons are round, so they're gonna move around on the cutting board. Whenever you're cutting a watermelon, cut off the ends first. Okay, so you have a base and you have something stable and then you peel it, especially for the salad. Now, sometimes you don't peel it, you just cut it in half, but still, if you're cutting it in half and making wedges, you want to have a safe, safe way to cut it. Okay, so we're just going to do this like a melon, like you would peel anything, like even if you were making orange segments, same way, just take off all of this and if you're feeling adventurous, you could pickle this watermelon rind. That's a southern specialty that I love. But I'm gonna just get rid of it for now and get back to that later because I'm so focused on the watermelon. Now you can get really big watermelons with seeds, without seeds, you can get yellow watermelon, you can do a blend of the both, whatever you like. This is a seedless, but I don't mind the seeds actually. It makes a kind of fun peel summary. Um, okay, let's make sure we have all the white off because we just want the sweet, sweet, sweet watermelon. And then this is where we get to have some fun. Okay, so you can cut it in half. You can cut it in rounds. I'm actually gonna cut it so that I have these almost square-ish pieces so that I can make some nice cubes. Right, when anything is round, obviously you're not gonna have a perfect square. You can square it off, but why waste it? So then I'm just gonna cut again to make these cubes and then cut across, and that's it. So when you have a smaller watermelon, it's easy, but if you had a big watermelon, you would work with a small piece. So then just cut cubes, and that's it. I'm gonna put this into a platter. Now, you can mix this all together in a salad bowl, but I like to just platter it, and then when the guests take the salad, it still looks pretty, and they can mix it together on their plate because the feta is gonna get crumbled over the top. Let's cut the other one. I always make extra because when I'm making this, I usually eat the watermelon. I love watermelon. I just love the freshness of it. So right now we're not gonna eat, we're working. We're working, I'm showing you this beautiful salad. Okay, saving myself a few pieces for later. <laughs> Seriously, I'm saving a few pieces for later. Okay, so then that's it. You can make a vinaigrette with vinegar and oil or like I did, I just did lemon juice and olive oil. We wanna dress it a little bit because this is so crispy we want a little bit of fat and a little bit of a different acidity, which is the lemon. And I have some red onion. I have red onion, which I put a tiny bit of vinegar on here. I always like to do something to my red onion before I use it. A little vinegar, a little bit of salt. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle those red onion. If you don't like red onion, don't use it. You can put some chives. Maybe you have some chives in your garden. Put those in. I'm also gonna use mint. Mint and watermelon is so good together. Fresh, delicious mint. You can also use basil. I highly recommend basil or a blend of basil and mint. Uh, so I'm gonna dress the watermelon a little bit now because I'm gonna keep on piling flavors. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take the mint 
and rough chop it. Now you can even take this mint and just tear it with your fingers and just put it on that way. I love whole herbs, right? You can just put it on that way. It looks beautiful. You're definitely gonna get a piece of mint in every bite, or you can put it together on your cutting board and chiffonade a little bit. Chiffonade, fancy word. <laughs> it just really is shredding the mint. And look at that. If you were here, oh my God, the smell of the mint, the smell of the watermelon. I mean, this is summer in a salad. I mean, this is just like picking mint from the garden, gorgeous watermelon. And now all we need is the salty, creamy feta. Think about it when you're composing a dish, right? This is how we think as chefs. I want you to start thinking like a chef. We just combine flavors, sweet, salty, creamy, we have pungent red onion, fresh mint, and then feta cheese is one of my favorites. Everything's feta with feta. <laughs> I just love it. And honestly, this is it. So you can crumble as much feta as you like on top of it. I mean, I'm a fan of feta. I like to put a perfect balance on the salad. I don't like to overload, but when it comes to my dish, I'm gonna add extra. So you just crumble it on top and that's it. I'm not kidding. This is at this easy, this simple, this delicious summer salad. Oh my God, I can't wait to dig into this. Yes, get your hands in there. Yes, put extra feta. Yeah, sure, you can put mint if you want now. More mint on top, but I love it just like this. I'm gonna drizzle it with some more olive oil and lemon juice. If you just wanna drizzle it with olive oil, fine. And that's, oh my God, so, so, so good. Maybe a crack of pepper on top. One thing we might have missed. That's it. Watermelon feta mint salad for your summer barbecues because it's easy AF.